guys, it's Matt with 42 Pros. Welcome back to our channel. And as you can tell, it's gonna be a different kind of video. And this one's gonna be geared more for the outdoors man and woman that likes to film their outdoor adventures, specifically with deer hunting. So this here is two of the popular uh, brands as far as camera arms go. And uh, we're gonna be just walking through the paces and seeing which one will best fit me and what I'll be doing, uh, which just short and sweet. Both of them actually fit my uh, filming style. It just depends on what project I'm doing, but I'm not going to spoil anything else. So we're just going to jump right into it. But this is the Stiff Arm Elite from Fourth Arrow, and this is the Hunter from Muddy. And as you can see, because of the base that Muddy has, this tree arm specifically is a little bit longer than the Stiff Arm Elite, you know, from the hinge point to the tree. So that could play a difference into how you film and what you film and, and all that good stuff. So if you're a self filmer out there, that is something to definitely consider because if you're taking this arm around the tree a lot, that could be a challenge for you. Whereas, you know, if you got an extra couple of inches, that might be a big difference in, in what you do and how you film and, and all that good stuff. So definitely think about that. Let's go ahead and stretch these guys out all the way and see exactly what type of length we can get from the tree. So if you look up at the specs on the Stiff Arm Elite, you can definitely see it's a long tree arm. And that's probably the reason why they call it Elite, because this guy can really reach out there for the size it is and the weight. Man, I promise you, the weight is ridiculously, ridiculously light as compared to this guy. Um, I would definitely prefer to wear, carry this guy in on, on a small pack as opposed to carrying this one in in my big, 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 big camera bag that I have to carry this in because of how heavy it is. But without any further, let's go ahead and get some uh, fluid heads on these things so we can see what it looks like with some comparable fluid heads that you could possibly use right now and you may actually have in your kit at the house. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll jump right back into it. Just so you'll know what these are, this is the S4 from Benro, and this is the BV6H from Benro, which this is probably my, my A number one fluid head that I would get. This guy right here, the S4, will probably be very comparable in size to the uh, fluid head that Fourth Arrow has on their website. So this is kind of what the Stiff Arm Elite with their fluid head would look like, okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay, so <clears throat> what does it take to get this far? Um, well, a couple things. You have to have the mounting plate mounted to the tree and then the tree arm base into the plate and then you slide the arm down into machined off head that actually locks in place, okay? All right, so there's basically three steps, okay? You lock it down, put the base in there, then you put the arm down into its slot, okay? And then from there to balance it, there's three steps, okay? Number one, you gotta have this locked down really tight. And number two, you gotta have this one, the, the arm itself, locked down into its slot pretty snug, okay? And then it's as easy as taking this guy right here, the good old uh, stud. So you just, you loosen it up and then you can move it wherever you need to go, okay? Then you tighten it up and then you can actually leave it in there, okay? Which I highly suggest, since it's kind of up against the tree, it's kind of out of the way. You may want to, you know, stash it in between the, the strap because the strap just goes around there and this does fit down in there. You know, that'll get it out of the way even further. Once you get it locked in, you ain't gonna have to mess with it. So, so that's kind of the process, okay? And uh, with that process, I do find some cons. Since it is so lightweight and you only get one strap, if you do not crank this strap down strategically and really get into that tree, it's gonna add a little extra bounce out here on the end, okay? So when you're you're out here and you're you're having to really reach and get around a tree or something and to, to be able to get the right perspective and view, that's the last place you wanna have some bounce, okay? So my suggestion to fourth arrow would be one of two things, which you've already done one and I ain't gonna give it away yet, but number one, get a two inch or bigger strap for this base. Since you do have a little longer, you know, arm a little, little longer reach with the uh the uh, stiff arm elite then you have the the, the uh, ability to have more load spring okay and if you have that wider strap it'll give a more consistent more even pressured 
uh, uh, tension to the tree onto the base and it won't have the tendency to pull off either from the bottom or the top okay so if you got a really really narrow guy and you got them all the way to the top or all the way down here to the bottom of this shaft then as you get out here the spring load will increase because of uh, how it's able to to be attached to the tree so i know that's not super feasible but you have already thought about the second one you just haven't made it an option with this guy as far as a standard option and that is to have two straps so if you buy this specific uh, uh tree arm from fourth arrow it is a great arm okay i've, I've played with it a little bit i uh, hadn't had a chance to film with it yet because i just got it this spring <clears throat> but it is a very smooth very doable very capable tree arm but if you add that second strap in there and make that base with two straps a standard option, I think that would, uh, would be a, 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 good, a good idea, a good feature for those guys who invest in those type of tree arms, okay? Because it, you get the top tension, you get bottom tension, and it'll really keep them teeth nice and, and sturdy and snug into that tree. Should be a, a good idea. But that's just me, you know? <laughs> um, and that's just what I've been seeing and finding with this guy right here, okay? Still a great uh, tree arm. Um, one of the pros that, I, uh, one of the cons, I should say, that I do see about mounting this in the winter with big clothes and big gloves, okay? Is if you can make the locking nut for the base itself that locks onto the plate, if you can make that a cylindrical piece, maybe just add an extra, I don't know, eighth inch or a quarter inch of of uh, contact surface area that we can grab that would be awesome that way you can get a little little better snugness you know an easier grip onto this base and it won't add an extra you know pound or nothing it won't be you know god awful to to make um as far as adding weight and all that fun stuff to the system so just a thought you know that's that's really the only two cons that i have is the straps that are standard with this and the, uh, the locking nut for the base that locks it onto the plate itself, okay? All right, so, but let's go to the pros of the Stiff Arm Elite, okay? A number one, lightweight. This is an awesome lightweight system that can, can hold a, a lot of good systems, you know? So if you're one of those mirrorless shooters, okay, and which I'm a big fan of the Sony systems right now because of their, uh, their hybrid systems that they have, you know, good photography, good video, good in low light, all that fun stuff, um, then this is what it would actually look like. I have a small rig cage for the A6400 with one of their grips, okay? And this is the 85 from Sony, 8518. And if you are looking at the um, 18 to 105 lens, then add about that much length and voila that's what the lens will look like i don't have that lens with me right now or it actually would be on this camera specifically because that is a great combo this is kind of the, the setup that this would be perfect for okay one of the dslr setups uh, a mirrorless setup a7 III, which i would definitely have on here um it just it looks to be a very good option uh, another pro is this is a very very smooth system okay very smooth system i'm barely even putting any tension on that guy right there from what i see it just came straight from the factory like this i hadn't changed it or anything it seems to be very very good it's not overly stiff but it's not overly loose so but anyways um yeah same here with the pivot arm the pivot point here very good but again just like the muddy you got a nut here that you can tighten or loosen the tension there um, that could be a con right there. So let's do it again. Okay. It has a textured kind of matte finish on it that if you have gloves and you do that, whoo, it better not be a quiet, cold day with no leaves. You know what I'm saying? Cause that, that could get you, that could get you busted. So that could be another option, which that might be. Uh, a protective coating, which I hadn't talked to Fourth Arrow about this yet or not, but yeah, it still feels good. But if you got gloves on, 
I mean, it grabs. It's, it's almost like a really, really fine sandpaper, just to give you a good description. Whereas this guy, I mean, you can, you can barely hear it, okay? It's smooth, you know, obviously textured smooth. But <clears throat> anyways, so fourth arrow, maybe think about that. I think that's all the pros and cons. So pros, we should have uh, plenty, okay? Again, still get good reach with this, this stiff arm elite. I mean, it ain't much shorter than this big old guy with this huge base. And um, very lightweight, very compact. Um, you could really and truly get a lot done with this one. Uh, even with some of the heavier your cameras. So if you have like a PXW X70 or the like XA, you know, 20 and 30s and all those guys, then it's probably doable with this fluid head. Now, if you add this fluid head on top of here with that camera, probably gonna be a little too much, okay? So just, just do your due diligence and uh, make sure that you're matching up your camera with the tree arm that you need. But this one is not their only tree arm, okay? They do have shorter ones and lighter ones. The one that I would suggest, if you do not have um, the camera rig that is compatible with this setup, is the Fourth Arrows um, Stiff Arm Pro, okay? It looks very similar to this. It just has this similar texture and color of the Fourth Arrow systems, okay? But it looks to be very, very, very compar comparable and compatible, or not compatible comparable with this type of tree arm from Muddy, okay? <clears throat> so there's several options for you out there. Don't just think that this Stiff Arm Elite is the only thing they got. The only reason why I got it was because of the reach. And again, just to remind you, I did have to pay money for both of these, okay? So there you go. Pros and cons. I think I listed all of them that I have, uh, have on my mind. This guy right here has a lot of both, okay? pros and cons from uh, many, many different areas, okay? Number one, this has probably been the most sought after tree arm for professionals uh, in the past four or five years, probably five or six, really. It is very sturdy, very doable uh, when it comes to heavy camera rigs. You know, you can get a C2, 300, all those fun stuff. On to here, SF, uh, SF. FS5s and 7s, um, the uh, was it FS700 I think is a pretty that's a pretty hefty camera, um, but you know all the like the NX5Us, the um, the HXR150s, uh, 150Zs and all that from Sony and, and a couple other cameras you know and it's you can get some pretty beefy cameras and have it on here and it'd be very very stable okay, so if that is you and you have one of those cameras then this guy or the Stiff Arm Pro from 4th R Aero is what I would suggest for you, okay? So you do have that extra reach, uh, but that does come with a cost, and that's where I'm gonna kinda move into some of the, the, the cons, okay? A number one con is the size and weight of this base. I mean, you, you just can't get around it. I mean, look at it, it's huge. I think this guy right here by itself is like five, five and a half pounds or something like that. Don't quote me, but I'll put it on the screen. But look at this guy. That's the whole thing, and I about can get all of it in my hands, you know? No way I'm gonna do that, but because of this big, heavy steel base, you add that extra stability, okay? And that also comes with this big, hefty strap, so uh, that's actually a pro for um, Muddy, you know, given this big old strap in there, and which it needs it, uh, but just to give you a, a, a little FYI, this strap will be on its sixth season. Is that right? Yeah, sixth or seventh. And it is still going strong, okay? So kudos to Muddy for making a good strap and finding good strap material, okay? But the base, huge. Does add the length, but it's huge. Did I say it was is heavy? Yes, it is heavy. Um, the only bag that I have found that, that carries this system, this tree arm system, well is the, uh, the Game Plan Gears uh, Cameraman bag, I think it is. It's, it's a big old backpack. It's almost bomb proof, almost. <laughs> uh, I've started to wear mine down a little bit, but <clears throat> this has to go in there a specific way 
so you can get it out and it's got all the extra padding that you need because this is so heavy you don't want it to damage your, your, your camera and all the other stuff that you'll have in your bag i mean it's just whew, cumbersome i mean man mm. yeah pulling this guy out it's like trying to lift weights in a tree stand but, but anyways um so the other con is just you've got to have both of these locking bolts down and loosened okay and when you do you lock one of them down then you lock the other one down but then it's unbalanced it, i mean if you ever had to use this base you, you know what i'm talking about and it's just something that you have to learn okay that right there is also maybe another pro plus con okay and what i'm actually doing is pulling the uh the levers the spring loaded arms off the bolt and then when i release it it kind of clicks back into place and makes some noise so but here again you can get some extra torque on this system as opposed to this guy right here which only has little itty bitty locking nuts so to speak okay but once you get this locked down and you figure out the nuances of that and you you're pretty close to bubble level then you have to crank on this which again the beefiness adds the stability and that's, that's the great thing about it but it's just uh something you gotta learn and really play with whereas this one it's kind of straightforward you know once you you get it in place and get everything locked down you got one thing to do to do the bubble level and that's it so good job fourth arrow but also good job muddy well, hey guys, if you enjoyed this video or if you got something out of it, if it helped you out with a purchase or anything like that, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And what that will do for me is it'll let me know that I need to do more content just like this before the fall seasons get here. I know it's coming up on us real fast, so that would be something I would need to do and just do a little scheduling and uh, get those things done. But there's several videos I do have on the hopper. Um, some camera review stuff on what's best for filming in the outdoor industry, uh, self-filming hunters, what cameras to get for you guys, the road wireless go. There's a couple other ones out there that, that's already just filmed and uh, it's just a matter of taking some time and putting them together and I do have some time coming up so these videos will be coming out in the near future. So if you like this content then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll get notified every time. I upload a video here on 42 pros but until next time guys get the gear that's right for you because only you can do your projects and since we usually only have one chance to get it right why not do it right and only do it once until next time guys we'll see you in the next video